the new Chinese ZBL-09 Snow Leopard Armored Personnel Carrier was developed by Narinko. It is a new family of 8x8 armored vehicles. Development commenced in the 1990s. This vehicle was heavily influenced by both Western and Russian armored personnel carriers. This APC was first seen in 2006 undergoing road tests. It was first publicly revealed in 2009. It is a successor to the whole host of aging Chinese armored vehicles. It might also replace the Type 92 APC and Type 92 IFV. Currently it is being produced in large numbers for the Chinese army. The ZBL-09 is also being proposed for the export customers as the VN-1. It has been exported to Venezuela and possibly some other countries. The ZBL-09 was developed from a 6x6 armored personnel carrier, which was revealed in 2006. This vehicle had advanced modular design. Its construction consisted of six modules, including engine module, transmission, control, suspension, hull and weapon station module. It was aimed at the export customers, but received no production orders. Development of the 8x8 which became the ZBL-09 followed immediately. Armor of the Snow Leopard provides all-round protection against 7.62mm armor-piercing rounds. Front arc withstands 12.7mm armor-piercing rounds. Protection can be enhanced with add-on modular composite ceramic armor. Chinese sources claim that maximum level of all-round protection with add-on armor is against 12.7mm armor-piercing rounds. Front arc withstands 23 to 25 mm armor piercing projectiles. Side protection is against 12.7 mm armor piercing rounds. With add on armor fitted, the ZBL 09 can be even considered as a wheeled IFV. It is speculated that vehicle utilizes design elements and technologies protecting crew and passengers from landmines and improvised explosive devices. Vehicle is also likely to have NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. Most numerous version of this new Chinese APC is armed with a turret-mounted 30mm cannon and coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. The 30mm cannon is similar to a Soviet 2A-72, which is used on a number of Soviet, Russian armored vehicles and attack helicopters. The Snow Leopard can be also fitted with two rails for HJ-73 anti-tank missiles. This missile is outdated comparing with modern Western designs, however it still poses threat to armored vehicles. Other turrets and weapon options are also available. Vehicle is probably fitted with electronic battlefield management system. It seems that this vehicle is fitted with digital battlefield management system, as well as positioning and navigation systems. It exchanges data between similar vehicles and command posts. This ZBL-09 has a crew of 3 and capacity to carry 7 to 10 troops. Passengers enter and leave the vehicle through the rear doors. Some versions are fitted with power-operated ramps. In case of emergency troops leave the vehicle via roof hatches. There are some firing ports and associated vision devices provided for the troops. Vehicle is powered by a Dutes BF6M1015C diesel engine, developing 440 horsepower. It is a German engine, produced in China under license. Engine compartment is located at the front of the hull. The engine is reportedly mated to a manual transmission. Vehicle is fitted with a central tire inflation system for improved cross-country mobility. The new Chinese APC is fully amphibious. On water it is propelled by two water jets. A whole host of variants were developed. A number of them are in service with Chinese army. It seems that China operate these vehicles in rapid deployment units, similar to American Striker Brigade combat teams. Each unit consists of various armored vehicles with different battlefield roles, based on the same platform. Other variants of the ZBL-09 are being offered for export. Also there is a number of unidentified variants. Variants ZSL-09 Armored Personnel Carrier, armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. Infantry fighting vehicle, fitted with a smaller turret and 25mm cannon. Command vehicle, with the turret removed and raised superstructure over the troop compartment. Reconnaissance vehicle. Armored recovery vehicle, fitted with a crane. ZTL-09 105mm fire support vehicle. 
PLL-09 122mm self-propelled howitzer 155mm self-propelled howitzer 120mm twin barrel mortar system Self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicles Armored bridge layer Engineering vehicle, fitted with a dozer blade and excavator bucket Assault breacher vehicle, fitted with mine plows and possibly demolition line charge Communication vehicle Armored cargo vehicle, fitted with a small crane Its main role is to transport ammunition and other supplies to the front line 